Hey everyone, I time to the chair once again from the Steam Network, bring you and let's see what was it, uh, free versus free, yeah, uh, it's wonderful Soul Storm replay on the uh, Payne's Retribution map, so yeah, basically these will be a collection of um, replays of games that I played previously uh, so many days ago, and yeah, we'll just do a commentary on them, and who knows, might even be able to learn a bit more about the games that I've played in, might be able to avoid uh, making various mistakes, so what the hell, we'll just have to see what happens, what the hell, we'll just, um, so the production tab to be viewed from my uh, cast opponent's Arthur Chance on the bottom here. And as you can see, yeah, it's going to be top team versus bottom team. This so bottom team consists of Arthur Chance as the uh, Chaos Space Marines, Davy Jones as the Space Marines, and uh, GOC Andy Ador as um, Tau. And what the hell is this guy saying? R, please. R? I'm not really sure what the he means by that, but anyway. And the top team consists of Alien on Acid as uh, the Impure Guards. Rather interesting name. Uh, Jesus, <laughs> Gusus, Jesus, so no, whatever, as um, the Elder, and uh, yeah, myself, uh, Lightman2009, randomly uh, spawning in as the uh, Imperial Guard. So as you can see, I'll be starting off with um, capturing the middle relatively quick. At the same time though, Arthur Chance is going to be sending in his uh, own heretic, perhaps to try to build a turret, I'm not entirely sure. For the reason, I'm just trying to leave my tech percentage here. Ah, oh, there we go, now he's going to be building a... Uh, Heavy bolted turrets of mine, and after uh, chance does not like that, he's going to be building his own heavy bolted turret. Problem is, they've got a little bit of a head start on him. He did manage to get his cultists to the point, um, to the flag point before I did, but the thing is, I do have my command squad coming in. Starting to build in a priest, and what it sounds like, yeah, we also got some, and it looks at it as well, we also got some chaos raptors coming in as well to uh, be a bit of a pain in the ass, so yeah, they'll just be dancing around, and yeah, my guys go straight for the heavy bolted turret. Oh, never mind, looks like we're going. First for the builder units, so yes, yeah, very um, perceptive on my behalf to actually go for uh, the uh, builder before um, going for, well, before even thinking about the heavy bolts, so it basically makes this thing go uh, completely useless until it's um, completed. And uh, yeah, as you can see, my guys are basically running around giving time for uh, this heavy bolt turrets to be created. And uh, yeah, now as you can see, it's going to be taking a few pot shots, mostly at cultists, who are going to be falling pretty quickly, and at the same time we have my my uh, command squad hacking these cow traps to pieces, and well, that's slowly happening. Well, have a look what's happening on the right. So nothing happening on the right so far. For some reason, this Anditor guy has got quite a few stealth suit teams fully upgraded. Um, not really sure what the hell is up with that, but anyway. And yeah, my heavy bolter terror, as you can see, has managed to demoralize uh, these Chaos Raptors and presumably kill off every single cultist. For whatever reason, Arthur Chance has uh, not decided to send in another builder unit to try to um, finish building this heavy bolter turret, and chances are he's probably going to... Yeah, there we go, he cancelled his construction, so didn't really lose any resources as far as I know. And there we go, he's also coming back with the Chaos Raptors for some reason. Really needs to get them back. Okay, and we also have the uh, Ranger Squad from uh, my allied... Uh, Guy there, uh, Jesus09, are uh, coming in to demoralize these raptors as well, so yeah, pretty nice synergy. Because, yeah, those, um, no, it's synergy between his pretty troops and mine, because the problem with, with uh, rangers is that, so yeah, they do a pretty good job um, in demoralizing stuff. The problem is that their actual damage is not really that great, except against um, troops like guardians and cultists that um, have light infantry armor. And uh, yeah, Alpha Chan's managing to get out of there just in time though, being very audacious of his um, Raptors actually. I think he um, hasn't lost the squad yet, but he has had to reinforce pretty heavily. Yeah, he's actually going to be capturing a point... Ah, oh, okay, yeah, he's going to be capturing a point um, near our front lines, but as you can see our troops, the bulk of our troops seem to be dedicated um, towards the uh, bottom uh, part of the map in, uh, yeah, basically trying to fight um, Davy Jones' forces, it seems. We also got to Andy Tor and Davy Jones being a pain in the ass with scout marines, but uh, yeah, apart from that, not being too bad. Uh, okay, I think I managed to get, um, yeah, I think I managed to get a strip soul ability off of the sounds of it from uh, the Psyche, unfortunately I missed that. But uh, yeah, just being forced to flee um, entirely, and yeah, this is very bizarre on um, Andy Tor's behalf. I mean, sure, once he goes to Tier 2, he'll be able to upgrade all these stealth, su stealth suits, sorry to um, fusion blasters, but the problem is though, he's not at tier 2, in fact, um, doesn't really seem to be even constructing the um, path to enlightenment he's building yet either. And yeah, speaking of which, the um, right has also been captured by my ally Alien on Acid, he's got a fancy heavy bolter turret, and uh, yeah, he's even got listing post upgraded as well. Now that's Alien on Acid, so come on, it's got what they were doing there, and um, yeah, not too much happening at the moment, although David Jones, he does have a couple of scout marines with uh, sniper rifles, and uh, yeah, as you can see, they're not having... Uh, too much difficulty in taking out these um, rangers. So yeah, scout marine, uh, scout marine um, sniper rifles actually having a greater range of uh, 
40? Yeah, well, in either case, it's greater range compared to the range rifles. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, the ranges are like 30 range and the uh, scout snipers are 40 range. But um, I'm pretty sure with these uh, optics upgrades, the ranges, um, range actually increases as well. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, um, Juice was getting his guys revealed and also getting one guy sniped off as well because the scout marine um, sniper rifles are pretty damaging to say the least. I mean, they cost quite a bit, especially on top of the cost of the. Uh, Scouts, but um, yeah, they can do quite a bit of damage to non-commander targets even, and demoralize targets pretty well as well. So yeah, as you can see, um, he's also got a skull probe as well to help spot. And yeah, as you can see, even taking out a warlock, they're a bit of a costly loss for Jesus there, in terms of troop numbers. And as you can see, the lines are relatively static. Although David Jones is slowly moving up, though, it looks like he's just using his um, Space Marine squad to spot for the uh, Scout Marines while the, they. Try to do as much damage as possible, and as you can see, I've only got a single squad of Imperial Guardsmen um, near this part of the map, along with a Commissar and Command Squad. Just don't know what happens to my second squad, maybe they're probably hidden around somewhere. In either case, I'm going to Tier 2, we'll just check to see what my opponents are doing. Going to Tier 2 as well, and finally, Tiaga is going to um, Tier 2, and don't know what uh, Arthur Chance is doing. It doesn't appear to be at Tier 2 yet, although I might have missed that though, but yeah, it doesn't look like he's gone to Tier 2 just yet though. So yeah, we've got a bit of um, back and forth skirmishes happening between um, Space Marines and uh, Impura Guard mostly, and I suppose Eldar near the uh, centre of the map, the centre left of the map I suppose you could say. David Jones deciding to probe a bit with his um, Space Marines squad. Ah, okay, there we go, yeah, he's going to be going um, for my um, listening post. And uh, yeah, as, as you can see, unfortunately I was a bit slow on upgrading that. Going to be upgraded now, but I'm going to be reaching tier two pretty soon, so we'll be able to get fancier things out. And whose troops are these? Arca okay, alien assets troops. Why not? Speaking of which, Arca. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I do have two squads of pro guardsmen. Yeah, thankfully because I had a commissar there already. The time I get to tier two, I managed to um, use the uh, execute ability and uh, yeah, managed to get a nice little damage bonus and all that on uh, these squads of guardsmen. Managing to take out that strategic points, other uh, rather listening post on the strategic point pretty quick. Those raptors being very pesky to say the least, but um, yeah, it looks like I'll be bringing back my troops to um, try to do a bit of damage there. Speaking of which, it looks like I can afford to, um, there we go, yeah, I can afford to create, um, or rather to add sergeants to my squads, and looks like I'll be going with uh, grenade launchers. As for this Arthur guy, he's got a heavy weapons team out in the field already, and he's just reinforcing his guardsmen at the moment. I don't know if he has a, um, oh, that's actually pretty good. Um, I don't know if he has a, um, Tactica out yet. He might have sacrificed getting a Tactica early. Yeah, it doesn't look like he has it. He's just going quick, quickly for an mechanized command. And, uh, why not, eh? Same time, the uh, squads of, um, sorry, sorry, squads of uh, David Jones are, uh, yeah, getting a bit of uh, hurt on them to say at least. God damn, taking a bit of damage there. Yeah, it looks like both of these Falcon Grab tanks upgraded to uh, Star Cannons, and we've also got a bit of a standoff. Ah, here we go. So yes, now of course all these stealth suits are going to be upgraded with um, fusion blasters, and uh, why not? But the problem is they've got a massive defense set up by uh, Alien on Acid, and presumably... Ah, okay, yeah, he has his command squad as well to um, easily detect those uh, stealth squads, and he's also got multiple bolter turrets, heavy bolter turrets, um, at the rear and the front as well. Also building a second mechanized command near the front, and assuming I've got a mechanized command as well. So yeah, actually, do I end up... Um, Floating a few resources uh, during the game and all that, because um, yeah, I'm more used to playing with Space Marines still. And yeah, as you can see, um, this is also a game where, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's um, a good example of what not to do with the command squad at, at tier two and onwards. Um, normally, you don't really want them to be on um, melee stance like that, unless if um, you know, unless there's like an opportunity for that. But yeah, in these sorts of circumstances, yeah, it's usually best just to keep them near your lines and. Uh, yeah, just to use them as uh, melee support where possible. As you can see, I barely managed to keep them alive. Main guy is almost dead, and I think I might have, must have lost the psych because he's, he's actually at full health. But um, yeah, as you can see, I'm slowly starting to bomb the crap out of him. Getting another guardsman squad out, and what else do we have? Got more plasma generators coming down, and mechanized command. Okay, going for sentinels and such as well. Um, presumably, just to try to um, attack Arthur Chance's buildings in a bit more of a direct fashion. At the same time, though. David Jones has managed to cloak his Space Marines, and... Okay, he's not exactly aiming at anything, though. So, oh, well. Half a chance saying all together, that would be... Ah, okay. Okay, Space Marine played down here. Sengu... So I don't know what exactly he's going to do there, but... Um, oh, ah, okay, here we go. 
Must have um, missed that, but yeah, it looks like Davy Jones is uh, launching a rather surprise assault of land speed of Tempests. And as you can see, they all seem to be armed with uh, crack missiles. They're going to be um, cracking uh, Jesus' uh, base here and doing quite a bit of damage. Well, they really should be focusing as fire there rather than diverting one guy to take out this webway gate. But um, yeah, at the same time, these Falcon Grab Tanks will come in as well. Not really sure why Jesus is sending his guys to do that, just to try to delay them maybe, or maybe just to distract them from the fire dragons that are now breathing uh, down the land spitters tempest next so to speak. But yeah, the land spitter tempest managing to do a bit of damage, taking out the uh, support portal, listing post as well, but I'm um, not really being able to strike too much of a decisive blow there. At the same time though, looks like this alien on acid guy has managed to move up as well, setting up his uh, heavy weapons teams. At the same time we have uh, massive amounts of um, Raptors, at least two squads here, along with the uh, Cow Slaw doing quite a bit of damage there. I think pretty much managing to completely destroy my um, forces that I have there. The only thing I have left will be the Sentinel. I've only got a couple of Pathfinders against him. And uh, what is he shooting at? Okay, I think he's shooting at the uh, Plasma Generator, so... Or is he? What is he shooting at, actually? Doesn't seem to be. Ah, okay, there we go. Now he's damaging. It's very strange. But in any case, yeah, David Jones bringing his um, Lance Peters back and, yeah, easily taking out that Sam. Um, sense now at the same time we do have half a chance counter attacking my points here but um, yeah I do have a couple of minefields as you can see and even though it is being detected by the uh, librarian thankfully um, it is managing to get a few hits on these uh, raptors so yeah the raptors even uh, are <laughs> getting even closer to it and are getting demoralized oh god and for some reason half a chance oh my god he doesn't even have a raptor a sparring champion so no wonder they're not doing as well as that one would think they are Oh, well, in either case, yeah, Librarian also being forced to retreat once I get my first Hellhound out. Maybe it's not first, but yeah, getting um, a Hellhound out in either case. Also bring in more Hellhounds. Going to tier 3 at the same time. Uh, Andy Ott, oh, sorry, Andy Atto, managing to keep his stealth suits alive for the time being. And, uh, well, he actually might be able to do a bit of damage here. Sending him straight for these um, Wraith Lords. Problem is, yeah, these Wraith Lords are now moving away pretty quickly to engage the of Tempest. But, yeah, being sandwiched between Tempest and stealth suits is not going to last long, to say the least. Even with their, with their Bright Lance upgrade, um, this thing was uh, trying to do a bit of damage there, but yeah, unfortunately not being able to do as much damage as it was on would hope for. My Pure Guardsmen being demoralized and uh, not being able to do too much either. For some reason, Davy Jones is trying to um, snipe my base with sniper rifles. I mean, sure, eventually they'll do that, but you'd think um, there would be better targets for those uh, sniper rifles. But anyway, in either case, um, yeah, the as you can see, the space room player, the chaos space room player at the bottom has managed to counterattack successfully, at least enough to drive away um, our forces that were trying to blow the crap out of his base. Um, he did lose. I'm pretty sure the chaos temple was there, and that's what he lost before. But um, as you can see, he's rebuilt it. For some reason, doesn't have an armory out, but he really needs an armory to get those um, aspiring champions on his squads there, because yeah, they really can provide loads of. Um, uh, well they provide a damage increase, actually not a damage increase, although they can provide a damage increase for that um, ability, I what it was called. But yeah, they also provide more health per member and uh, various other upgrades as well. So yeah, they're very, very important to say the least, but you need to have um, Purge of the Weaker researched, which you get at tier 2, and you can only get it from the uh, armory as well. So yeah, as you can see, as Raptors unfortunately not going to be able to do the amount of damage that they could do, and neither are my Sentinels by the looks of it, so I'm one of them getting taken out by these uh, Lance Peter Tempests. We do have um, Warp Spiders warping in there, and uh, yeah, as you can see, they're going to be tearing up these Pathfinders, presumably going to tear up, yeah, the Servitor and the Heavy Bolter Turret as well. So yeah, as you can see, we're basically converging a um, little uh, concave, as it were, from the uh, top right of the map, by the looks of it. For some reason, um, Jesus leaving his uh, Fire Dragons, I'm not really sure what the hell that was about. And for some reason, me um, leaving my uh, cards in the middle of, uh, of it all as well, but yeah, thankfully, um, these uh, stealth suits do decide to retreat. And what else do we have? Okay, we do also have the command squad. Um, oh, okay, that's right. I just the research that um, Valor upgrade for them because yeah, it allows you to um, create or rather to add another two um, leaders or whatever you want to call them. leaders. Yeah, we we'll call them leaders to this um, command squad. And they uh, yeah, decide to go with two psychers. And yeah, it also increases their um, health as well. So yeah, not such a bad upgrade indeed. Houseford's causing a bit of damage, though, but finally do have a Kuro um, Guardsman squad with a Commissar, but this guy's not going to last too long, to say the least. Where am um, uh, Oh, there we go, there's my command squad. Still leaving him in melee, unfortunately. Um, I didn't really notice, probably until uh, much later in the game, that I really should have had these guys, the command squad, on range, unless if I um, needed them on uh, melee stance, like in this case. But, um, oh well, what can you do? 
And yeah, these extra psychers certainly uh, doing a bit of damage there, especially in tier 2 when they get things like um, Curse, Curse of the Machine Spirits um, and that lightning uh, ability as well. So having three of them being able to uh, chain those abilities isn't too bad to say the least. But yeah, unfortunately, yeah, my uh, strategic points, one of them was decapped, the other one um, had the listening post destroyed. And Davy Jones is going to try to harass a bit more, but some um, as you can see, his scout marine squad is being detected by something or other, managing to do quite a bit of damage to my uh, Imperial Guardsman squads. And wow, there we go. Very nice use of that Librarian there, actually. Davy Jones managing to um, take out quite a few of them, taking out all, all of my um, Guardsmen, in fact. And at the same time, though, my command squad, as you can see, is surging forward and trying to demoralize these guys a little bit. Sam, um, of course, I. Try to keep going with them, but um, yeah, as you can see, it doesn't work out too well. But thankfully, we do have Juices coming in with his warp spiders. And yeah, given the fact that these land speeder tempests, actually, there's two right there. Yeah, there are two, they're just phasing into each other as well. But anyway, yeah, these uh, land speeder tempests, thankfully, they don't have those frag missiles um, upgraded, so they shouldn't do too much damage to these um, warp spiders. But as you can see, they can still, um, oh, that's good, they can still make them uh, fly around, as you can see. And yeah. Also using Coastal Machine Spirit ability just to try to, um, well, at least disable one Land Spirit of Tempest, but looks a bit, is this one actually? I'm not sure if that one was disabled or not, but anyway. But yeah, as you can see, they're going to be driving back on forces. Also, someone's destroy well, of course it must be our Space Marine now. Opponent is deep striking a Dreadnought, and just in time for the Fire Dragons to come in as well, but as you can see, they're taking quite a bit of damage. Land Spirit of Tempest, it's rather interesting really, um, the Crack Missile, Upgrade is meant to be used, you know, it's really it's really good against buildings and vehicles, but it's actually not too shabby against infantry. I'm pretty sure it even has a um, an area of effect attack. So yeah, they're actually better than against infantry than one would think. So yeah, especially when you have, you know, several of them firing at once, so do quite a bit of damage. And I have dreadnoughts to um, try to attack as well, why not? But uh, yeah, it looks like I use the um, Curse of Machine Spirit ability on it. For some reason, also bringing my... Um, Priest into the mix there without any real support. I'm not sure what the hell I was thinking there. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, Jesus, as you can see, being forced to retreat. And I'm pr pretty sure I probably have um, loads of resources uh, stockpiled by now, but um, yeah. Just not using them as effectively as I could. Yeah, deciding to engage with a squad of Ogrins. I'm pretty sure I'm at tier 3 at this point. Yeah, there we go, I'm at tier 3 and using the fanaticism ability. Um, Dreadnought though is not going to find too much um, solace by avoiding my Ogrens though, that's for sure. But then, yeah, unfortunately that fanaticism ability only goes for 10 seconds. It does stop the units from being demoralized though, and it stops them from taking any damage at all, so quite um, good indeed. Also had the Librarian using the um, Smite ability, I don't know how much damage I actually done, did though, it didn't seem to do so much damage. And he's saying he might need help left, but at the same time though, allies on the right are slowly advancing, even got a Bane Blade out, Bane blade out as well. And presumably... Pretty sure what the hell the um hmm. I heard that um ability sound the uh curse machine spirit being used, not really sure where the hell it was actually being used on or what it was being used on, so what the hell David Jones is also getting a whirlwind now, something you don't see too often given their expense and the fact that they take up crap loads of um vehicle pop cap, as it were. And uh, yeah, as you can see, um as Alien on Acid being uh, forced to retreat the time being. Does he have upgrades? Yeah, he has auto auto cannons. Why not say? Eh? And at the same time, these um, space marines being forced—should uh, I say scout marines being forced to retreat as well. A uh, warp spider is kind of jumping into a bit of a greasy situation, to say the least. <laughs> a bit of a sticky situation, should I say? Getting uh, blown apart there by various explosives. But um, yeah, thankfully I'm starting to slowly, slowly replenish my guys. They're getting a comma stuff for the Imperial Guardsmen. Ogre and squad's still intact, and yeah, actually, I just noticed as well. Looks like my chaos opponent here, Alpha Chance, has really been spending pretty heavily, actually. And he, he managed to capture this um, little area here, even building a firmer plasma generator. So going to be building a uh, listening post, or rather, upgrading the listening posts and building a um, heavy bolter turret as well. We've also got um, bottom team uh, coming up through the uh, left flank of the middle, and Okay, it looks like we, we own the uh, right flank of the middle, though, for the time being, anyway. Yep. Oh, okay, it was completely upgraded to Laz Cannons. Unfortunately, not being used against the greatest targets. Uh, you being used against uh, Ogrins and Infantry is not going to do too much damage there. At the same time, though, we do have Terminators. Interesting, actually engaging um, Ogrins in uh, <laughs> close combat. That's not bad. 
They do have their Force Commander to back him up, but the problem is the Zograns can do quite a bit of damage in melee. Like, that's actually what they're meant to do. And really, his Terminators, they really should be kept really far away from the battle. It's kind of hard to do that, though, because it moves so damn slowly. Anyway, what do we have here? Okay, I probably missed my allies, I'm um, indicating something on the map. But yeah, in, in any case, Sadion Acid doing a pretty good job holding his own for the time being. Also, I think he's using the scan ability to try to illuminate some of these stealth suits. But yeah, they're jumping away from it and doing quite a bit of damage to this Bane Blade. I'm pretty sure these stealth suits are... Okay, they don't have that Shusp Reg. Uh, actually, a couple of them do, but um, it really should have um, made the Shusp Reg the first guy to be um, attached to these uh, squads because he's got the uh, EMP gra grenades ability. I think used on any vehicle, including um, super vehicles like uh, Bane Blade, Super Star Vehicles. But anyway, in any case, yeah, for some reason, and anti or not using... Uh, actually, he's using it. No, no, he's not, he's not using the um, MP upgrade on... A, uh, sorry, MP grenades on them at all. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, this Bane Blade, I think, is continuing to be able to fire. Also got the uh, Bombardment ability being used as well by uh, my allies' command squad. So I'm going to stop this determined service hall from uh, repairing the slant raider though as you can see we've got a, a uh, predator coming in as well and uh, yeah as you can see it's just an all-out brawl at the moment it looks like since this bane blade was destroyed yeah it does look like acid is going to have a, a bit of trouble though to say the least and uh, yeah half a chance as you can see is actually flowing quite a bit of power but um does he have i don't know he doesn't have a vehicle plant yet he'd probably want to get that or at least go to tier three he has resources to do so. Although at this moment, time, he'd probably be better off just going uh, with a vehicle plant. So I'm presuming he probably isn't here. Where is he? No, I don't think he is actually. In fact, he's only just now. He's only got the armory now going for purge of the week at 21 minutes into the game. Certainly not uh, something he'd want to be doing. Huh, just a tape and Jones and predator to guard them. Why not? But yeah, as you can see, um, that uh, alien on acid guy has been pushed back, and uh, yeah, now we've got. Um, Part of the right side of the map being uh, slightly captured and uh, conquered by the um, intrepid Tau player. Oh, and also the uh, intrepid um, Davy joins the uh, space player as well. <coughs> Indeed. So, yeah, as you can see, they're just uh, busy destroying uh, various troops here. But there we go, finally, we do have um, that alien guy coming in with a squad of Kasukin and. Uh, Wow, really? Oh, crab loads of stealth is just jumping into the, into the fray. Not really sure if I'd agree with that. Sam, um, what the hell? And also got Sam um, another uh, bombardment ability being used by my allies. Um, command squad. Not sure where the hell they are actually. And as well as the nice little orbital bombardment ability being used by the uh, force commander there. So there we go. Quite a few uh, ships. Well, orbital ships bombarding the crap out of the uh, ground forces. You can see. And here we go, this is a pretty good move by Davy Jones, teleporting his, I think he, I'm pretty sure he teleported his Assault Terminators into the fray there. Um, interesting thing about um, the weapons, as you can see, is that they, um, they have a certain chance of uh, disabling the movements and combat on uh, whatever they hit. And when they're all attacking a single target, then uh, basically all those odds of disabling us and all that add up. Which basically means it's barely going to be shooting and moving at all. So very, they're very good against um, these single big targets, like this Bane Blade with the support of, um, oh, here we go, the support various things are like Barracudas and uh, Stealth Suits, which are in, engaged in close combat with this Wraith Lord, yeah, might be able to take it out, but Alien Acid sort of barely managing to keep his um, Bane Blade alive, though. Also got Ogrens coming in as well, and nothing much happening I left there, so we'll just ignore that. We do have a couple of Warp Spiders um, trying to do some sort of commando-like actions in the uh, enemy's rear lines, but yeah, not being able to do too much there. And his stealth suits here, unfortunately, all being massacred and incredibly expensive to say the least. Jisoo saying uh, detect, and uh, yeah, God knows we could do with um, detection. Same time, that looks like on the left. Uh, interesting, must have missed a little bat on the left, but yeah, it looks like um, most of the stuff here was destroyed, and uh, huh, I'm guessing by me actually. I think I've also got a few basilisks out, or this one is facing the wrong way, but there you go. It's all, uh, I'm sure that he'll be hitting stuff in good time. Oh god, I don't know what I was thinking, um, leaving him like that, but anyway. Killing off the last uh, listing post and decapturing one of the strategic points. Some reason not going for the second one just yet. And looks like I've got my Kasukin squads out as well, so... Andy Ator saying that was a good push, guys. Andy Ator, I think pretty... Yeah, that's right, he's the um, tower player. 
Yes, to help Titans eat. So yeah, at the very least, yeah, they did manage to do quite a bit of damage on the right, and uh, yeah, at least they managed to um, delay our inevitable push on the right. But at the same time, as you can see, I'm slowly, slowly, slowly going for the left, or capturing left, should I say? And let's see. Okay, we do have um, these uh, basilisks firing as well. So yeah, it's been a while since I played this game, but I'm pretty sure these basilisks. They're either the replacements for the ones that got destroyed, or they're about to be destroyed. Given that the game is near over, I'm pretty sure these ones will just be the uh, replacements. So generally, as Imperial Guard, yeah, you really want to um, attack there. Half a chance saying left flank is weak, and he might actually have a bit of a point. Actually, it's not really as weak as um, he would think it is. He's got crap loads of Wraith Lords coming in, and I'm also going to be attacking with my... Um, with my uh, Imperial Guardsmen. I should be using Execute, hopefully, at some point, because, yeah, these um, Kaskin squads, they really uh, benefit from uh, that upgrade, to say at least. In fact, I probably didn't even really need to bother to upgrade them with grenade launches. But what the hell. In any case, here we have Wraith Lords coming in, and uh, yeah, as you can see, the left flank is not quite as weak as they thought it would be. Also got me setting up a heavy weapons team there. Bam. Probably setting up a little bit too close for comfort, but what the hell, I mean. Pretty much be able to ensure that it can hit pretty much anything in uh, their base. Oh, there we go. Arthur Chance finally um, has his machine pit up. He's going to be getting a second cast spread. He's also got a... Uh, Bit of a stiff defense, um, bit of a, yeah, a bit of support basically by the tower and the space room player as well. Got the uh, looks like the battle cry ability being used as well, and possibly even the orbital bombardment ability as well. So just we'll see how that pans out. At the same time, looks like David Jones is flanking from behind, flanking the uh, little attack on his base. But um, yeah, as you can see, the crap loads of fire dragons are just going to do so pretty damn well against these um, vehicles, as you can see. Also, it doesn't look like we even got anything. Um, any builder units to repair these uh, vehicles, which I suppose is understandable given how many that, it, you know, how this was a bit of a uh, fast action, presumably, by David Jones' behalf. Um, don't know if it was a good idea to upgrade his predators entirely with LAS cannons. What can you do? In any case, yeah, Jesus needs to watch out for his um, fire dragons. Probably needs to use a bit more fleet of foot there to run them away from the dreadnought a bit better. But uh, yeah, in any case, he's going to be focusing on the land raider, and there we go, we've also got the orbital and barbers and being used there. Fire dragons, as you can see, they uh, don't get knocked around really, like other troops. It's very bizarre, but I suppose it's a way to balance them out, given that they basically just have short-ranged weapons, and basically being forced to run around quite a bit of the time, I suppose. And he, uh, also letting my Kaskin get, getting, well, letting him get, get caught up in the uh, close combat action as well. Uh, Getting one of them killed, rather unfortunate. And hopefully, there we go. Finally, I start to micro them while at the same time Jesus is firing at him with his uh, fire dragons there. So, <laughs> oh, very interesting. They also got um, half a chance with um, two of his chaos predators, and doesn't look like he's at tier four just yet, though. So, in either case, he doesn't really need to um, upgrade them just uh, at this moment, given that yeah, he's mostly facing an infantry-heavy armor, uh, army, should I say? In either case, um, yeah, Andy Tua has been kicked out. Looks like um, the attack uh, from uh, my ally on the right is proceeding pretty nicely. They've got a nice little um, vehicle, vi this vehicle battle here actually. Interesting, the action. Wait a minute. Where are my buses? Oh, maybe these one, those ones that I mentioned before were actually killed off. Oh well. In either case, there goes the land raider. We've only got um, two predators for the opponents here, and you just saying his chaos T1 still T2. Oh, <laughs> uh, not bad, yes. Not bad. Indeed. Because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, the Chaos player really could have played a bit better. But, ah, what the hell. In the case, we've got Word of the, word of the Ability... Uh, sorry, Word of the Emperor ability being used as well. Keeping Assault Terminators alive just barely. And speaking of which, oh, that's interesting. Um, the Acid guy, he's actually going with a Commissar... Well, an addition of the Commissar to the um, Command Squad. So you don't see too often. Especially late in the game. Normally, you're just better off going, going with a Priest, which is got two of or just another cycle really but anyway only half of space remains and uh, yeah that's about to fall as well so yeah finally me getting in some heavier forces in the, in the form of uh, Limunrus battle tanks but uh, yeah as you can see this is pretty much um, pretty much done so yeah Alpha Chance is going to um, try to do a bit of damage there but uh, yeah once these Rayflaws come in and start me laying the crap out of these uh, Corn Berserkers uh, they'll pretty much be game over for him as well so bam Go. And uh, yeah, we've even got that Bombardment ability being used, I think this time by my command squad. I'm not really sure how much damage that does against buildings, we should check that. 
Because the Knight's pretty decent to build here overall, at least against that infantry, but I don't really know about vehicles and buildings actually. So, well, whatever. Something to learn, I suppose. And yeah, after chance saying good game, and he's going to be leaving pretty soon as well. So yeah, we've got plenty more um, replays to come out. Don't know how many I should be commentating on tonight, but um, yeah, we've got plenty of games on different maps and all that, and uh, yeah, with uh, various results as well. So some you win, some you lose, whatever. Especially since I'm still a bit new to actually uh, playing the game. There's, pl there's people who have played thousands of games, or and I've only played like uh, I don't know, probably a hundred by this point. So <laughs> a bit of a uh, disparity when it comes to experience. And yeah, as you can see, we've got a nice little. Um, Still, uh, still image effect there. So, yeah. some explosions from the chaos buildings, <laughs> to say the least. So yes, um, good game to our opponents. This has been uh, Dame to the Vich, signing off.